5 and 5 uh, video and today I'm in my garden and we're making KFC. So the other day a friend brought me around a couple of rabbits that he'd got uh, so I thought that I'd make my next Survive and 5 video all about making KFC but I guess it wouldn't be KFC it'd be KFR Kentucky Fried Rabbit but rabbit's what I've got if you guys have just got chicken or something like that then use that so let's crack on with it and get the rabbit out of the fridge okay so let's look at the ingredients we're going to be using today so obviously of course we've got our two rabbits uh, which we need to do a little bit of prep to in a minute but let's just move over to these ingredients over here and I'll show you what we've got so we've got a bit of brown sugar um, and some salt now I can't remember all of these uh, uh, measurements off the top of my head so I'll stick them down below uh, and you can go and check that out if you want to follow this recipe okay, I've got a couple of eggs I'm actually just using pheasant eggs because that's what I've got loads of but you guys can use uh, just eggs. a bit of flour uh, and then this spice mix now when I was looking for recipes all the recipes I was looking for were just full of like tons of different spices so I thought but why not just get one spice mix so you're not buying tons of Indian spices you only need like half a teaspoon of and they're going to sit in the cupboard for ages so first thing you want to do is cut off these uh, feet so you can get a heavy knife Stick it where the ankle is, get a stick, and you're going to just give it a good bang, cut through the bone. Okay, so we're just going to cut these back legs off now, so we're just cutting around where that kind of hip joint is on the back, and then should just be able to pop that out. And you're going to go where the, uh, the back is, the saddle, grab it, and just go. So you can really see how much meat's on there. So that's gonna be a really nice cut for our KFR. Okay, so we've got our rabbits all jointed and chopped up now. Uh, and let's start looking at some of our dry ingredients. So we're gonna add our spices, uh, our flour, uh, and our little bit of sugar and salt, all into this bowl. Good mix. Crack your eggs into a bowl. That is our two rabbits jointed up uh, with all of our lovely mix um, spices and all of that lovely stuff on it. Guys, I'm cheating today. It's just don't tell me for it. Alright, so. We're ready for our pan. On the pan we're using today is a hand beaten pot made out of an old oil drum that I got for my birthday. And the reason uh, cooking like this from an oil drum is brilliant because because of the shape of it, you don't need to put too much oil in um, when you're like frying stuff like this because of the shape of it, and you get a nice deep uh, ball of oil. So I do a lot of kind of cooking out on the fire and stuff like this, but you guys can just do this in your kitchen at home on a stove. So if we wanted to eat food like this, we, we just go to the shops and buy it. But actually sometimes it's really nice just to make it yourself. And the amount of confidence and self of achievement that you get from it, it's brilliant. And like, I haven't even eaten it already, but just from looking at it, I can tell you guys, this is going to be 100% better than you can get from any shop. So 
Okay, guys, this is it, the finished product. Our beautiful plate of crispy, crunchy, spicy, sweet, mm, just delicious um, KFC, KFR, whatever you make it. But as we all know, food is so much better when shared. So, pass the camera. Uh, there you go, cameraman. Oh, wow, lovely. AKA yeah, Dad. Hey, it's delicious, Alvin. That is very good. Mm, crispy. Mm -hmm. So, if you guys decide to make anything like this, uh, then send me a picture and let me know. But for then, until then, remember, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Bye, guys.